everybody, welcome to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. So we're going to start with 20 days yoga and how yoga in 20 days can change our life, can change our body as well. And when I say our body, it's mean developing mobility. So sometimes as we think only in flexibility when we say yoga, but it's also more about mobility. So sometimes maybe we won't do a split. But definitely, we are able to do our shoelaces easier to fall forward, uh, easy without pain. And the other thing is if we are start to suffering from lower back pain, that will help us to extend the muscles in the back, release the muscles of the back, and it's going to give us more mobility. So it's not only to develop flexibility, the benefits of yoga. It's about many things, mobility. Uh, well-being for your joints, for your spine, as well as stimulate the endocrine system, the nervous system, and as well for our mind to focus as well, to help us to focus. So let's start. So welcome. And remember, this is every day. Try to do it in 20 days if it's possible, but it's, if not, well, you can just skip some days. So let's start. Let's lie down on our back just to start with the breathing. It's super important that we understand that the breath will help us to slow down the blood circulation, so it's going to relax and calm down the nervous system. But the most important is going to help us when we are stretching to relax the muscles. And the other thing as well, when we need a strength, so it will help us to keep contracting the muscles. How far we're going to stretch? It's important to understand that we just stretch as far as we feel comfortable. When the pain starts, it's our moment to stop and maybe slow down and bend the knees or something that we can adapt to, to don't have pain. We never stretch with pain. So let's start. So lie down. You can open your feet wider, drop the feet to the side, and we just observe your breath. Keep your hands on your tummy just to perceive the movement of the tummy. Feel the air in and out through the nose. Relax your shoulders. We try to inhale by expanding our lungs and exhale, contracting our lungs by the rib cage and the diaphragm. Just come back to your normal breath and imagine that you are asleep and you just let your body breathe by itself naturally and organic. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. Be aware how is your body, in which areas you might feel some tension. And we try to just breathe and be aware of it. We observe our breath. There is always a little pause between inhalation and exhalation. Observe our body, we might feel tightness in our legs, in our back, in our chest. The awareness of the breath will help us to keep focus in the present moment, which is another thing we're going to learn with yoga. In the part of the mental side, we will really have this focusing and awareness of the present moment. So from here, we're just going to inhale for four beats. And exhale for four beats, just to give a little bit of rhythm to our breath. We try to inhale, one, two, three, four, and exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four, and exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four, and exhale, one, two, three. And again, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Now keep breathing with this length, this rhythm in the breath. Inhale, and exhale. You can keep counting in your mind for beats if you need it. Just make sure that you have this length. Inhale, and exhale. We're going to start first, we're going to stretch our arms backwards, push your heels away. We take a deep breath, inhale, 
with those those four beats and exhale. Bend your legs, lift your feet off the ground, hands under the knees. We just rest the hands, hands under the knees and we just hold here. Inhale and exhale, relax your shoulders. Inhale, deep breath and exhale, just relax your shoulders again. Let's go for one more deep breath. Inhale and exhale. And the last one, and exhale. Release your hands, keep your knees together, hands on your hips or your tummy or on the floor, and we're just gonna make a circle around, maintaining the knees together. We go for five, four, three, two, and one. Change the direction, we just go five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your feet onto the ground. So at the beginning, it's important to understand the alignment of the hips and the spine, and that will help us for when we are moving forward to more complex poses. So first here, I want you to you really feel your sharpie part of the hip bones, you press, and they are facing towards the ceiling. We try to be aware of that all the time because that's going to help us to understand the hips position. Bring your heels close to you, maintain the same width, hips, knees and feet. We're going to inhale and exhale as we press the feet onto the ground and the hands to lift the spine. We feel a nice release. We inhale at the top. And exhale, we bring down the spine, slowly vertebrae by vertebrae. When the hips reach the ground, you come back to that neutral position that you feel the lower back slightly off the ground. One more time, inhale, and exhale, come up. You push through your feet. It's important that you press your toes on the ground to engage your lower leg muscles. Inhale at the top, and exhale, release gently down. Good. Let's go one more time. Inhale, push through your feet, and exhale. Make sure that your toes are really pressing the ground. Inhale at the top, and exhale, release down. Great. We lift the feet again off the ground. Use your tummy muscles to pull the knees close to you. Maintain the knees together, and we make a circle around. For five, again. Four, three, two, and one. Back to center, change the direction. Just go five, four, three, two, and one. Back to center, feet onto the ground. Open your arms beside your shoulders, palms facing down. Drop the right knee toes to the right side and let the left leg go as far as you can. Don't force the knee going down. If it keep very high, it's okay. Then let the right leg completely relax. Now we're going to move our face to the opposite direction of the legs. So we move our face towards the left and we hold here. Now try to be aware of your spine. And again, let's go with the breath with those four beats. Inhale. Two. Three. Exhale. Inhale, and each time we hold a pose, we just try to relax and release with the breath. Inhale, and exhale. Just one more, inhale, and exhale. Great, back to the starting pose. Drop the left leg toes to the left side, and don't worry, the right one don't go too low, as far as you can go. Move your face opposite direction. Be aware of your body, in which areas you feel tense, tight. Don't try to pause, just breathe. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for three. Completely relax your shoulders. And exhale. Let's go for two. And exhale. And just one more. 
and then exhale. Back to the starting pose. Release your arms beside your body. Back again, keep the same with hips, knees, and feet. Let's go shoulder bridge. Push through your feet, lift the pelvis and the spine. Inhale and exhale, release down. Inhale, exhale, come up. Inhale and exhale down. Again, inhale. Exhale, come up. Inhale and exhale down. Great. Now we're going to lift the right leg up. If it's, Don't worry if you have to bend the leg and catch your leg. It's okay. We make a circle around with our foot. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Change the direction. Five, four, three, two, one, we flex and point. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna keep the hands on our hips, engage our tummy. Inhale, bring your leg down as far as you can go, just a few inches off the ground. Flex your foot, lift the leg as far as you can keep the leg straight. Doesn't matter if it bends a little bit, but maintain it straight. Maybe it's a little bit lower, it's okay. Let's go for nine. Inhale, toes pointing away. Exhale, flex your foot, bring your leg back. Let's go for eight. And come back. Let's go for seven. Come back. Let's go for six. Up. Let's go five. Up. Let's go four. Let's go three, up, and two, up, and the last one, up. We bend the right leg, hands behind the knee, slide the left foot and extend the left leg. And we're just going to hold it here for four breaths. Inhale deep, relax your shoulders, exhale. Pull the knee from your tummy. Again, have the sensation that you are pulling from your tummy. Let's go for two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Just one more. And exhale. Now we bend the left leg. We cross and rest the right thigh on the left, at the top of the left. Lift your left foot. Catch your legs from behind. We just rest here. Try to bring your right foot close to the left leg and we just hold here for four breaths. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three and exhale. Let's go two. Relax your shoulders and just one more. We release, bring our feet onto the ground. Let's go with the left leg. We make a rotation around. Five, four, three, two, one. Change the direction. Five, four, three, two, and one. Flex. And point. Don't worry, one side is better than the other one. That's normal. Let's go for always our stronger leg or side. Let's go two more, everybody. Well done. Hands on your hips. We go inhale, let go down. Exhale, flex your foot, bring it back again. And we just go for nine. Feeling the mobility. The right, left leg. Let's go for eight. Flex your foot. Let's go seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And just one more. 
extend the leg, hands behind you. Knee, extend the right leg on the ground. We hold here for four. Inhale. Try to, don't raise your shoulders. Try to pull the leg by pulling from your tummy. Let's go for a three more. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for a two. You can flex and point your feet anytime. And just one more. And bend the right leg, cross the left leg at the top of the right with the right foot, hands behind your knees, and if it's possible, bring the left foot close to the right leg. And we hold here for four, inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three, and exhale. Let's go two. Just one more. Completely relax. Well done. Now we uncross the legs, bring your feet together, and we're going to open our legs to the butterfly. Bring your arms backwards. If it's possible, if, you, if your shoulders are a little bit tense or tight, just open your arms again into the big position. So as far as you can, you bring them beside your shoulders, and then you slide them as much as you can go without forcing your shoulders. You can bend the elbows if you need it. We hold here, but we have the sensation to push each other the feet. We hold for four breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Good. Let's go for three. And exhale. Doesn't matter if our knees are high. Let's go two. Just one more. Release, bring your hands under the knees and close your legs. Good, everybody. Now we extend the legs, bring your arms backwards. We take a deep breath. Inhale, flex your feet and exhale. Now we're going to bend the legs, lift your feet off the ground, hands under the knees, head off the floor. We're rocking backward and forward to come into the sitting pose. Well done. Now swing me the legs to the side. And we're going to come on to all fours. I know probably you've been hearing about cat and cat just to release the spine. So we're just going to place your hands onto the ground and spread the fingers, index fingers pointing forward. And we try to don't let the weight collapse on your wrist. We try to use as well our fingertips so we kind of dig our fingertips onto the ground. We go into cat and cow. So we are going to inhale, we tuck the pelvis in, chin and chest, curving the spine. And exhale, we move our hips forward, arching our back, lifting our chest. And again, inhale, cat stretch, extending your back. And exhale, arching your back, open your chest. And let's go again, inhale. And exhale, lifting your chest as much as you can, arching your back, keeping your tummy in. Last one, everybody, inhale, and let's go, exhale. Back into neutral, we keep our hips above the knees, we just move our hands forward to the poppy, and we let look to the front and keep the arms straight, bring the chest down. Keep pressing with your fingertips to only the way collapse. Even if your elbows reach the ground, still you keep your arms straight. Go as far as you can go. Doesn't matter if it's just tiny. Just hold here. We hold for four breaths. If you can go lower, it's okay. If your elbows reach the ground, still keep me your arms straight. Look into the front. Let's go for three more breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go two, and exhale, and just one more, and exhale, well done. Come back again on two, all fours, we're sitting back into a child pose, keeping your knees together if it's possible, and here I wanted to, if you don't reach your heels with your bum, then you use your hands to keep pushing the weight backwards, and create, and don't let the weight collapse on your head. Okay, try to keep moving your weight 
backwards, backwards, backwards as much as you can to extend your thighs and your back. We let the head drop, chin and chest if it's possible. Don't worry, the head don't reach the ground. You keep moving your weight down towards to your heels. Hold me here for four breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. And two. Exhale. Just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Back again on two. All fours. Open your knees in the same width of your hips. Shoulders above your hands. Bring your right hand behind your head. We twist toes to the right side without forcing. We hold in a, pole, in a point that is comfortable for us. We hold for four. Inhale. And exhale without forcing. Press with your fingertips on the front of your feet. Let's go for three. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go two. And just one more. Release. It's important that when we are holding a pose, that we are aware that we are not putting tension in other areas of your body because we are forcing the stretch. So don't worry if you don't go too far in the stretch. Listen to your body, connect with your breath, and do as far as you don't feel pain or tension in other parts like at the upper back and the neck. Now from here, bring your left hand behind, twist towards to the left as far as we can go, and we hold for four, and exhale. Let's go for three. And two. And just one more. And we release. Now we curl the toes under and we push our bum down, but curling the toes under as far as we can go here, just to release our head feet. We hold it here for three breaths. Inhale deep, and exhale, let's go for three, I know some of us we're going to have pain in the toes and the feet, it's okay, just hold the toes curl under as far as you can go, let's go one more deep breath, inhale, and exhale, good, again remember if you feel tight, stiff, it's okay, okay, give us the opportunity to <laughs> feel like that and don't push yourself hard. Well done, now from all fours, everybody, we're going to curl the toes under, we're going to lift the knees and your elbows slightly bent and we're going to hold here just for five counts, five, four, three, two, one, release, high feels, just to build up strength, remember the strength sometimes is hard, but it's good for bones density and muscles density, so again we're going to repeat the same, but this time we're going to push our bum all the way up, we keep our legs bent and we don't have flexibility because the most important is that you straight your back here at the maximum. So don't worry, your legs are bent. We hold here for four breaths. Concentrate on your spine, concentrate on your tailbone coming up towards the ceiling and slowly bring your heels down. You can extend the legs if you can, but if you can't, no, you feel too much tension, bend the knees. Let's hold here for two more breaths. Digging your fingertips onto the ground, really pushing the ground. Take one more deep breath, bend the knees to don't have a stress, and release that. Good. We're sitting back, point your toes away. We're sitting back, child pose, extending our arms, pushing our weight down onto our heels. And we hold here for two more breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Just one more. And exhale. Good, everybody. Now from all fours, we're going to curl the toes under. Back again to the downward dog. We're going to repeat this pose a lot of time during these 20 days. So let's go just get familiar. Again, if my legs cannot be straight and my heels on the ground, I can bend the knees, lift the heels. It's important that we don't have pain. We take one deep breath, extending our arms. Inhale. And exhale. Now we look to the front. We walk forward. 
we release our hands to go all the way forward. Bend the knees here. Don't worry, we don't have full flexibility. That's why we are starting this program. Inhale and exhale. Roll up the spine all the way. And the head is the last thing to come. Roll me your shoulders backwards for four, for three, for two, and one. Now we're going to go into the chair pose. So the chair pose is important that we don't lean as a squat. So we bend the knees, maintaining our shoulders above the hips. So it's going to be very little bending of the legs. Ready? Bend your knees, shoulders above your hips. Feel the mobility and the release in the ankles, which is the most important. Bring your arms up. If it's possible, palms together. We're reaching up. We lift the chest a little bit, and we just hold it here for three breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for two. Watch just be gently towards the ceiling. And one more. Now we extend the legs, hands on our hips. We're going to lift the right heel mm -hmm. and press your toes against the floor. Good. Now we change. We try to wake up that mobility in our feet because sometimes we just concentrate on our hamstrings or our thighs or our big areas of the body. And sometimes the feet are really tense. So let's go one more time. Take a deep breath and release and just one more and release back again to the chair pose arms come up palms together lift your chest we take a deep breath here inhale exhale and we extend our legs now we drop our hands middle of the chest we lean forward we can bend the knees to give us stability and we go all the way forward bend. bending the knees we hold it here for four breaths. Inhale, and we can bend the knees to don't have tension. Let's go for three, two. Let the hands drop, your palms facing up, or you prefer your palms facing down. At the beginning, just concentrate, breathe, relax your body. Inhale, and exhale, roll up. Good, roll your shoulders backwards. Fantastic. Let's go just one more time, okay? Arms come up. If you cannot bring your arms too much backwards, so you cannot straighten them, bring them a little bit forward. Bend your knees, lift your chest. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Now from here, drop your hands, middle of the chest, and we go all the way. Forward bend. Bend the knees. Let the torso drop. Again, you can give your fingertips, your palms, or you can give your top of the hands on the floor. We hold it for two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. And just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Roll up the spine. Roll your shoulders backwards. Great, everybody. And today we're going to stop here because I just wanted to just start to understand certain exercises of yoga and then we link them together. Okay, so just to end, we're going to bring our arms up, inhale, and we're going to drop them with the strength. <sighs> Exhale into your mouth and saying <sighs> the syllable ha. Ready? Inhale, arms up. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you for joining us. And remember, we just start in these new things of the yoga world, yoga poses. So don't worry if some poses steer you feel a little bit uncomfortable or you need to bend too much the knees. That's okay. Okay, thank you and see you tomorrow or the next day.